Yo, what's up YouTube? I'm back with another video. In today's video, we're going to be going over the Ultra Boost 1.0 Triple Blacks. A few months ago, I did a sneaker review on the Ultra Boost Triple Whites 2.0s. That video did really well. Hopefully, you guys can show me love on this video also. Click that like button. It really helps out the channel. Also, click that subscribe button. It really helps out. Thanks for the support and the love. Without further ado, let's get straight into the sneaker review. Looking at the sneaker box, here we have the Adidas Ultra Boost uh, LTD. I don't know what that stands for, but I know back in the day they were called Ultra Boost 1.0s. This is probably just a new name that they're giving the sneakers since it is a restock. Yeah, I grabbed a size 10 and a half Ultra Boost LTD, also known as Ultra Boost 1.0. This is a running shoe if you guys did not know that, but a lot of people just wear them as casual sneakers like me. Um, I work out sometimes, but majority of the time I just wear them with my work outfit. I work at Champs, so you know, it's just a solid navy blue tee with some great cargo pants. And then and just top them off with some Ultra Boost. And I got a triple white pair. I also did a sneaker review on those. You guys can check that out. I'll be putting the link right here. You guys can click that later in this video if you like. But that video, it did pretty good. It, it reached uh, like 5K views. I was pretty excited about that. I didn't think it would do that well because I did get to shoot like a few years later. But uh, here we are again. Back with another pair of Ultra Boosts. This is the Ultra Boost 1.0 Triple Blacks. Here we go. Give you guys a little 360. I did go ahead and lace them up already. I actually wore these other day to work. Um, this sneaker review is actually kind of late, but as you take a look at the sneaker, it still looks dead stock. Like, literally nothing. Like, look at the bottoms. Like, they're still white. Like, I could, if I wanted to, I could lick it right now, but I'm not going to do that because that is disgusting. But, um, yeah, I did get these for $180. I tried to use a discount code, but it did, like, it worked, but it didn't work, like, when I tried to check out. Like, I put in the 20% off discount code, it dropped it to, like, 160 or 150 or something like that. And then when I tried to check out, it said, unable to check out, please check cart. And I thought that was because the sneakers sold out or something like that, but then I ended up taking off the, um, the discount code, and then they ended up letting me buy the sneaker. So I was pretty heated about that, but it is what it is. I still got my hands on a pair. One thing I don't like about this shoe is that they run tight as hell like compared to the 2.0s the 2.0s are super tight but the 1.0s i don't know what it is like the prime net it's just uh, it's just too snug like i wore them around all day i worked the eight hour shift they still weren't loose so i feel like a couple more wears they'll be good if not i don't know what to say just be prepared for a tight sneaker if you go true size i suggest sizing up half a size you should be good after that here we have just a normal prime net upper going all the way around the shoe to the back hill. When I think of a triple black sneaker, this is what I mean. Like, this is the greatest triple black sneaker of all time. Literally, it's just all black. Midsole's black. There's no white in this sneaker except for the bottom of the shoe. But, like, who's gonna see that? There's rarely any triple black shoes out there. I know that Nike uh, Hirachis are triple black, but those have the white tongue with these. Looking at the tongue, triple black. The laces, triple black. No hints of white in the, uh... In the um in the upper part of the lacing going to the hill black no hints of white just all the way around on the back hill tab they even put ultra boost and triple black nothing on this sneaker has like white in it except for the bottoms like this is what i mean of a triple black sneaker overall my rate of the sneaker is going to be an eight out of ten like i said the fit of the sneaker is super tight on my feet i have wide feet i'm going to manage to make it work these shoes are fire. I can't wait to show you guys what they look like on feet. I wish there was more to say about this sneaker. It's not really that much to say about it. This is how I lace my sneakers. Um, I know in, well, I know in my last review of the Ultra Boost Triple... I know in my last review of the Ultra Boost Triple Whites, you guys were asking how did I lace my shoes like this. I don't know if I'm going to give you guys a review in this video, but I will later in the future. Maybe when I cop another pair or I could just... If you guys just want to see it, you guys can just let me know in the comments and then I'll go through and show you guys how to lace them like this. These laces were actually kind of smaller on this pair of shoes. So the reason they look like this is because they're like... I don't know. They're not like worn in yet. And then like I got to like tape them down so they can like stay down because like... Right now, they're just pointy. I don't like the way that looks. Maybe you guys do, but I don't. But, um, yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into this on feet. I know you guys are waiting for it. I can't wait to show you guys what they look like on feet. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. Make sure you leave a like if you haven't yet. Click that subscribe button below. It really helps out the channel. Also, share this video with a friend. Thanks for watching. Peace.
She can't get for but can't stay Ayy, hey, shorty in my face, she just taking space Shorty slim waist and her ass a team